I am Kristen Tanny. Um, approximately 13 people in the United States are developmentally disabled and or intellectually challenged. The term developmentally disabled refers to a chronic disability of a person of five years or older. This is attributed to a mental or physical impairment or both. It is also manifested before age 22 and is to continue indefinitely throughout their life, according to Deborah Seidel Fatigue. Have you ever considered what it would be like to live life stuck with a disability you couldn't change? I currently work with the most amazing and misunderstood population at a developmentally disabled home um, as a caretaker. And one of my main jobs is to help further their intelligence through everyday tasks. Today I want to inform you about mental, social, and physical misconceptions about people with developmental disabilities. First, the mental misconceptions. Number one is they are not intelligent and they are not fully there mentally. This is not the case at all. These are some of the people, the smartest people that I have come to know. When I am engaging in conversation with them, they are usually eager to hear what I am saying and if they are able, they respond. Um, they are very sympathetic and they understand a lot more than people give them credit for. According to Thompson E. Grayson from Department of Special Education, University of Illinois States, don't use baby talk or talk down with people with developmental disabilities. Gauge the pace, the complexity, and the vocabulary of their speech according to yours. If you patronize them, they will patronize you right back. Number two is that they are unable to hold a conversation. Unfortunately, some do have speech impairments, which make it very difficult um, for them to speak effectively. Even though this may be so, they communicate in their own way. The difficulty in holding a conversation with them is usually not on their end, it's on ours, because we lack understanding of their way of communicating. The last mental misconception of people with developmental disabilities is they are children in adult bodies. Although they may function in a completely different way than the most of the human race, that doesn't make the statement true. Yes, their emotions may seem to be all over the place, but if you take a step back, you can realize that ours sometimes are too. They process information differently, and I believe it's because they are different, and in knowing so, they are grateful in the smallest of things. Second, social misconceptions about people with developmental disabilities. Number one is that they are scary. Fact is, they have bad days too, and they're not perfect. But if we don't take the time of getting to know them and understand them, then that is our loss. We cannot be left to perceive that they are scary based on first impressions or lack of care. It's like going up to a dog and she barks at you. And from that first encounter with the dog, you think all dogs are very scary. But in the process, you may be able to realize that she may be protecting her newly born puppies. Thirdly, they live independent lives. In some cases, this is absolutely true, and they do, depending on the medication they are on or their disability. But the vast majority have adaptions that were made um, where caretakers come in and assist them to make sure that they're getting the proper care. Lastly, physical mis misconceptions of people with developmental disability. The first one is that they are all wheelchair bound. This is not the case at all. Wheelchairs, like a plane or a car, is a mobility aid, which enables a person to get around. Developmental disability people are restricted by an environment that has been designed for able-bodied living. Many individuals who use a wheelchair are only meant to use it for long distance or in bad weather. Secondly, that they all have Tourette's. According to Center for Disease Control and Prevention, a study has been found that every three out of 1,000 children aged from 6 to 17 years are living in the United States have Tourette's. Another study following this is that individuals diagnosed with Tourette's were found that at age 18, 47% have been tick-free. Tourette's is most commonly presented in ADD and ADHD also. Lastly, that they are unable to control themselves. These individuals are perfectly aware of the situation surrounding them, unless they have dementia, which means that they forget what's happening in the present, or a psychotic disease. If they act out, it's usually because, like all humans, they long for attention and appreciation. To conclude my speech, the fact is that these individuals are a product of their surroundings, whether they were raised in a joyful spirited home or the complete opposite. 
My purpose today was to inform you of the mental, social, physical misconceptions about people with developmental disabilities. Today I will end with a quote by Thomas E. Grayson. Remember that every person with a disability is an individual. It is important to remember that you are not interacting with their disabilities, but you are interacting with individuals with disabilities. So remember also that they are people first. Thank you.